In a village by the sea, surrounded by mountains, lived a simple stonecutter named Akira. Every day he worked hard, cutting stones from the mountainside. Even though he was good at his job, he wasn't happy with his life. One hot day, Akira saw a rich merchant pass by in a fancy carriage with many servants and treasures. He thought, If only I could be as wealthy as that merchant, I'd be happy. Suddenly, a mysterious voice said, Your wish shall be granted. In a flash, Akira turned into the wealthy merchant, living in a grand mansion with many servants. At first, he was thrilled, but soon, the sun's heat made him uncomfortable. Thinking about this, Akira saw the sun shining brightly and thought, The sun is more powerful than any merchant. If only I could be the sun, I'd be happy. Again, the mysterious voice said, Your wish shall be granted, and Akira became the sun. From high above, he enjoyed warming the earth and changing the seasons. But soon, he noticed that clouds could block his light. Frustrated, Akira thought, Clouds are more powerful than the sun. If only I could be a cloud, I'd be happy. The voice obliged, and Akira turned into a huge cloud. As a cloud, he felt mighty, casting shadows and releasing heavy rain. But one day, he saw a large boulder on the mountainside, unaffected by rain and wind. Akira thought, the stone is more powerful than the clouds. If only I could be a stone, I'd be happy. The voice granted his wish, and Akira became a large boulder, feeling indestructible. But soon, he heard the rhythmic tapping of a stonecutter's chisel. The stonecutter was slowly chipping away at the boulder, reducing its size. Akira realized that even a mighty stone could be shaped by a simple stonecutter. He wished, if only I could be a stonecutter, then I would be happy. The mysterious voice granted his wish once more, and Akira returned to being a humble stonecutter. Through these experiences, Akira learned the true meaning of happiness. He no longer envied others and appreciated his own work, life, and unique abilities. As you go through your life, remember Akira's lesson. We often think happiness comes from external things like money, power, or fame. But true happiness comes from within. It's a state of mind, not something to be acquired, but something to be cultivated. We can find happiness in simple things like the warmth of the sun, the beauty of a sunset, and the smile of a loved one. We can find happiness in our work, the people we serve, and the difference we make in the world. We don't need to be wealthy, powerful, or famous to be happy. We just need to be ourselves, doing what we love with the people we love. The most important lesson Akira teaches us is that happiness is a journey, not a destination. It's something we strive for every day through small acts of kindness, moments of gratitude, and a deep sense of purpose. So, as you go about your day, remember that happiness is within your reach. It's something you can cultivate within yourself. Remember the story of Akira, the stonecutter, and let it remind you that true happiness lies within you. It's up to you to find it, nurture it, and share it with the world.